Hi everybody, welcome back to Tailor Toned. This weekend I'm doing a live 60 minute follow along ad free Tailor Toned workout. If you want to join that, head over to www.tailortoned.com. I'm also going to be putting a discount code down below in the description. Add that at the checkout and the class is $5.99. Also today, I'm wearing a brand new outfit from Crazy Yoga, love this outfit. I'm going to be giving you like an in-class review of the outfit, but it's so soft and it's good. Let's get straight into the class. Okay, so you're going to bring your feet wider than your hips. Bring your toes forward, you're going to send your hands into a prayer position. Now roll those shoulders backwards and down, we squat, we lift, squat, press. Drop, then up. So first of all, you're just gonna go straight in towards a little squat section. One minute of these, knees over the top of the middle toe here. And I want you to sink the hips backwards and press the weight into all four corners of your feet. Drop, then lift. Now push the palms together, open through the chest. Sink those hips low. We go, drop, then press. You've got five, then you're gonna take a hold low. Go four, and press. You've got three, then we're gonna hold stillness. Go two, then press. Now last one, you're gonna hold down there, peel the toes off the floor, take little tiny presses. Down, down, down. You've got seven presses. Six, you've got five, four, three, two, one. Stepping yourself to the edge of your mat. You're gonna go into a lunge, lift, lunge, lift. Lunge, lift up. So you're gonna bend through the supporting, bend through that left leg, bringing the toe up. And as you do this, you're gonna fire those hands down to the floor. Very excited to be wearing my new outfit today. I wish I found these leggings earlier. Normally, I just wear Lululemon. I know, snobby. Not snobby, but I just like comfort. And these definitely, the butter looks one definitely rival lululemons you've got one and lift now other side we go down then up go down so we're tearing that toe all the way up bring the chest forward open your heart to me straight into a heart raising exercise today we go drop you've got 10 more seconds and then we're going straight down towards the floor into some butt work go seven go six go five four you've got three two one, bring yourself straight away, down towards the floor, hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. You're gonna squeeze your right heel to your right glute. You're gonna press the foot up to the ceiling. Now the hip bones are both pointing down towards the ground. I want you to squeeze your abdominals in. The heel is flexed. We go, a little lift and squeeze. Little up and squeeze. Little lift up, squeeze. So I want your eye line to be in between your fingertips. I want both your hip bones pointing directly at the floor. Extend through the arms, ground your palms in towards your mat. We go, little lift up, squeeze. Now this is all about the butt. So for this next two minutes, you're already 40 seconds in. It's all about that right butt cheek here. So squeeze, heel towards the ceiling. We go, little lift and freeze. It's like you're playing a game of musical statues with that foot, little lift and hold. Three, lift up, squeeze. Two, lift up, squeeze. Last one, now you're gonna hold there. We squeeze, inhale, exhale, full range. Point the toe to close the knee, flex the foot to bring it all the way up towards the sky. Find that balletic, that dancing and tension of taking a point through the toe and a flex through the heel. Go in and push. Plantar flexion, dorsiflexion. If you want to get technical, push. Go in and press. You've got five. Lift. You've got four more than we hold. You've got three. You've got to go push. Two. Press. Now last one, you're just going to pulse. Hold the heel up there. Little press. Little press. If your left hip is starting to ache, bring your left hand away from the floor and just have a play around with that. It will ease off of the tension. So now you want to think about driving the weight into that opposing hand to really think about easing off on sitting in towards that supporting side of your body. Lift. You've got 15 more seconds here. Make sure you're drawing your abdominals in. Get the shoulders away from your ears and squeeze and squeeze for a final seven, six. You've got to go five. 
four, you've got three other leg in two, one. Bring the foot down, heel to glute, press the heel to the sky. We go, little lift up squeeze. Straight into lurking the other side of your butt. And mixing it up today, we have this little seat section, then we're going into your planks and push ups. Lift up, squeeze. We go, little up and squeeze. So driving the heel up towards the sky. Again, have a play around. Opposing hand to foot in the air. Maybe bring that away from the floor. See, does it help with that support and hip? It should do. We go, little lift up, squeeze. Driving the heel up towards the sky. Support inside of the body. It's pushed up against a straight wall, a brick wall. We go, little lift up, squeeze. Hip bones down, navel pulled in. We go, little lift up, squeeze. You've got five more here. You've got four more to stillness. You've got three to that full range. The change is in two. Now last one, we go. Inhale in, exhale press. Inhale point, exhale press all the way up. The other thing I love about these leggings so much is that they don't like fall down. Do you know normal gym leggings? Well, some of them anyway. They fall down and you like end up with a empty hammer crotch. <laughs> These ones don't do that. And they're so soft to wear and touch as well, which I love. Inhale, squeeze it. In, exhale, push to the sky. Three more. Inhale, squeeze. We, exhale, push. Two more. We, inhale, squeeze. We, exhale, push. One more. Inhale, squeeze. Now add resistance with that heel. Squeeze it up towards the sky. Now little pulses we go up. And up. We're going to pulse for 25 seconds. I want your hips towards the floor. Double check, are you sinking into the hip? Draw that hand away from the floor. Challenge your balance and double check if you're sinking into the hip. Now, can you get your heels two inches up towards the sky and pulse for a final? Let's do it. We're in it together. We have 10 more pulses. Nine and eight. You've got seven. You have six. You've got five. It's over in four. In three, in two, in one. Drop the knee down. You're going to give your wrist a little roll up here and then bring your hands back underneath your shoulders tuck one toe under tuck the other toe under drag straight in towards your plank position eye line comes down towards the floor see this so much don't let your body do this i want your hips straight line squeeze the abdominals up squeeze the abdominals in you're gonna lower now down through the left forearm you're gonna go ahead lower down through that right forearm Keep the knees lifted, keep your eye line down, keep your abs squeezing in. You've got number 11 with your arms, with your forearms. Your shoulders stack over the top here of your elbows. Your heels drive backwards, heels over the top of the balls of the feet. The knees, they go tap, they lift, they tap, they lift. You've got it, they tap, they press. They go down, lift up, keep going. Inhale, exhale, in through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Inhale, power. You can do this. You've got four to side planks. Three to side planks. You've got two more knee taps. Now, last one, keep the knees up. Rotate left fingertips to right elbow. You're gonna roll to me, favorite move ever. Reach the hand up to the ceiling, side plank. Elbow underneath the shoulder. If you want the modified version, drop the knee down to the floor. Lift up, hold of the hip. Little up and squeeze. So this is your modified option. Chest open to me. Hips are square. If you want the advancement, the whole time you're up here, full side plank, lift up, squeeze. Little up, squeeze, hold. Four, up and hold. Three, up and hold. Two, up and hold. Last one, you're gonna stay up there. You're gonna roll through the center. Try not to lower those knees down unless you're in the modification. Keep the knees lifted, squeeze your abs in. Rotate other fingertips, round to the elbow, and you're gonna reach the hand high. Don't forget your modified option if you need it. The hips, they lift up, hold. They lift up, hold. If you can see the screen right now as well, how good is the back of this bra? It actually doesn't look very supportive, but it's actually very supportive. We go, little lift up, squeeze. You've got three more here. You have two more here. Now last one, hold there. Stay, stay, stay. You're gonna roll through the center now. Don't let the knees drop down. I know, I know, it burns, it burns. You can do this. Press the forearms down, eye line down in between your fingertips. Squeeze your abdominals in. And you're gonna hold there for six, for five. Low the knees in four, in three. Low the knees in two, in one. Low the knees down. Bring the hands to the edge of your mat. Come on towards the bottom of your thighs, top of the knees, and we drop, we press, push-ups down, we press, we drop, we lift. 
Now squeeze the abdominals in. The whole body drops down to the floor. Hips go down towards your mat. Squeeze the waistline in. Get the core nice and strong. The head, it doesn't bob about. You're not bobbing for apples. You've got a straight line. Cram the head down to those knees. And we go drop and press. Now last one, hold. Then give me a little pulse. Four, five, four, four. You're out in three. Get lower. Two, one. Well done. You're gonna push backwards all the way into the child's pose. And you have made it into a quick thigh step. So you're gonna bring your hands forwards, tuck the toes under, down dog, walk through the down dog, bring your hands to your feet, soften through the knees, roll yourself up. So for this part, I'm gonna come off my mat because I'm gonna slip and slide everywhere. Feet widen the hips, hands go prayer. We go. Down, down, lift. Drop, drop, releve. Down, down, lift. So if you want the modified version of this, we're just going down, down, keep the heels down. Drop, drop, press. But I want you to elevate through that heart rate and I want you to sink low. This next couple of minutes is all about your thighs. We go down, down, releve. Drop, drop, lift. Down, down, releve. You've got three here. Press, you've got it. Two, press. Last one. Press, now sink low in towards the plie. Press the palms together. Open through the heart, breathe in, breathe exhale. Now you're gonna lift your heel away from the floor. Slipping and sliding everywhere. You're gonna lift the heel away from the floor. You're gonna twist round towards that left leg. And pulse, and pulse, and pulse. So we sink down towards the floor. The hips go low, the heart comes open. Now I know, I know it burns right now. It's just because you've done a little bit of cardio and we're pulsing after straight away. But that's the bar way, it burns, we shake but we get what we want. You've got seven, six, you've got five, centering four, three, two, one. Lower the heel down through the center. Can you drop below it? Hips down towards the ground. Now you're gonna bring your other heel away from the floor. We twist, round, we pulse, we pulse, we pulse. Pressing that knee over the top of your middle toe here. Sink the hips to the floor and press, and press, press. You've got six, center of five, in four, center in three, two, one. Now through the center, can you sink those hips further down? You're gonna reach your hands into a balletic fist position over the top of the head and the hips go down and pull. Little drop down, squeeze. Drop down, squeeze. In through the nose, out through the mouth, breathe. Don't hold the breath and it starts to get hard. Drop down, squeeze. You've got four more here. You have three more than we've got stillness. You've got two to stillness. Last one now, hold down that and pulse. And pulse, and pulse. I saw a bar t-shirt the other day, it was so cool. And it had on it bar, and then it had the meaning of the word bar, death by pulses. I was like, yes, that is so my routine to bar. Option here, to lift the heels in towards the stiletto position. Four, a final, 10, nine, eight, you're out in seven, six, five, it's over in four, three, two, one. Whew. Well then you're gonna lift yourself all the way up, bring your toe in towards your glute, knee to the floor, quick stretch, and then other way, toe into the glute, knee to the floor. And then from here, re grab a hold of your mat, you're gonna lower yourself straight away, down towards the ground. <laughs> Candid, mat slipping everywhere, bridge, you're gonna lift the hips away from the floor, go lift and lift, lift up. So quick fire routine today, knees are in line with your hips. And I want you to draw your heels right up towards your butt. The hips are elevated away from the floor right now. So hips are lifted. The feet, all four corners of your feet are on your floor. Your hips up, up, up. Now spread the shoulder blades across your mat. Draw your eye line, your gaze towards the ceiling, towards the sky. And you're just pushing your hips up, lift, lift. You've got 10, nine, Eight, you have seven, six, you've got five, four, three, two, hold. Stay right there, keep those hips lifted. 
and now option to reach your hands up to the sky now you're gonna bend your left arm right arm bend left arm bend right arm so you just bend reaching through the fingertips whilst those hips are lifted go reach and reach we go for a reach and reach keep reaching through those fingertips if you're wondering what I'm looking at over there I have the class written down minute by minute Sometimes I get a lot confused in my head because today I've got this, I've got a PT, um, and then I've already taught like six classes this week. So my brain is like, where am I up to? We go, reach, you've got five, four, you've got three, two, hold. Can you edge your hips one inch higher up towards the sky? I want you to step your heels in towards your glutes. The knees should be over the top of your hips. Your shoulders should be spread across your mat to protect your spine. And the hips go down, down, they lift. They drop, drop, they press. They drop, drop, they lift. They go down, down, they press. Go drop, drop, and squeeze. Go down, down, lift. You've got five, and push. You've got four more, lift. You've got three, and press. You have two, and press. Now last one, keep those hips up there. We pulse again to burn the butt as much as you can so I want your bum by the end of this your seat even as we say in bar to be burning to be shaking five four we hold in three in two hold option here can you then releve your heels in towards a little high heel position the knees are in line with your hips imagine your body is on a train track don't let those hips touch down towards the floor and we pulse to finish it's all about those pulses today death by pulses go lift we go for a squeeze you have ten nine eight you've got seven it's over in six you've got this five four abs in three two one well done draw the knees in towards the chest give yourself a little rock side to side we're going to come straight towards your abs section bring your hands just around the side of your hips and set your knees all the way up in towards the tabletop position now the knees are over the top of the hips and the toes are in line with your knees pilates flat back position now squeeze the abs in if you can slide your hand underneath your back I want you to reset your form, press your lumbar spine in towards the floor, engage the abdominals, close the ribs together. Left, stay left knee stays still, the right leg drops to the side, lifts back up. So you get a little hip flexor stretch here and a little work through the hip flexors. I don't want you to go too far, I don't want you to damage your hips. It is just literally two inches out towards the side and then back in again. So imagine your knees, are on a clock face here. When they're at the top, they're on 12, and you're gonna let it just drop out either towards that 10 o'clock position or either towards that two o'clock position with the knee. So you're not going too far. You are literally just slicing the leg two inches out, two inches in. You've got it. Go drop and drop. We squeeze it in and in. One more, go drop and drop. Now squeeze it in and in. Now the knees stay there. Now both the knees open to the side and then back back in together. Inhale, exhale, I'm shaking already out to the side. Inhale, exhale, we squeeze them back in together. Now keep those abs hooked as tight as you can. You're just opening and closing your knees. You have four of these to go. Back in again, you've got three more. Pull the abs down, open out. We squeeze it in, two more here. Inhale, exhale, we open out. We squeeze it in, one more. We open out towards the side. Now hold there, little presses. It's tiny, keep the toes still, the knees just open. They wrap, they push, they press. You've got six, five, you've got four more. Three, close the thighs in two, one. Now close the legs back together. You're gonna squeeze the knees into the chest. Inhale, as you exhale, you're gonna press those heels away, back in towards the chest. Inhale, exhale, we press away, we squeeze it, inhale in. Three more of these to go. Squeeze it into the chest. Two more. Exhale. Press. Squeeze in. In. One more. Exhale. Press. Now squeeze it in. You're going to go ahead. Press your heels away from yourself. Modification. Keep those legs in a tabletop position. Now bring the hands over the top of the head. We reach back. Forwards. Back. Forwards. Now take a point through the feet. Let's find that balletic contention. If your lower back is starting to lift away from the ground, push it back down again. You've got four. You've got three to the hold. Two to the hold. 
Now keep those hands backwards, modification, keep them up towards the sky. You're gonna keep those legs lengthened. You're gonna give me all you've got. So full advancement, hands behind the head. You've got three, two, one. Well done. Turn the palms up towards the sky. You have made it through your workout with me today. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. I want you to gently rock those knees side to side, left to right, left to right, twisting through the waistline. I also didn't just get this from Crazy Yoga as well, I got a few things, a throw, a throw over like a top that you can wear at the beginning of the class and then you know when you get too hot you just want to throw it to the floor, it's really cool as well. I'll wear that next time or on my Instagram at Taylor Tone if you've not followed me. Draw your knees in towards your chest, rock yourself back, rock yourself up and forwards. Bring the feet round towards the back. Bring your hands behind your back, interlace your fingertips, press the chest forwards, lift the hands away, pectoral stretch, you should feel it through the front of the shoulders, into your deltoids, into the front of your chest. Bring your left hand down, reach the right arm over the top, inhale, exhale. And then other side, bring the hand down towards the floor, reach the right arm, reach the left arm even over the top, inhale, exhale. Bringing it back up, hands go down, you're gonna give yourself a little shoulder roll round, shoulder roll round, and then you're gonna slide your feet all the way round towards me. You're gonna flex the feet here today, flex the feet will make it that little bit more challenging, intense. Reach the hands all the way up into a fifth position, roll the shoulders down, grow nice and tall off your sit bones, inhale, grow tall. Exhale, reach your fingertips down towards the toes. You're trying to glide your nose in between your shins, trying to fold the body in half. You should feel the stretch in towards your hamstrings, into your glutes, into the back of the legs. If you want a little calf stretch here too, you can drive your toes all the way towards your shins. Ooh, need that today. And then slowly release. You're gonna bring your feet behind yourself. We are gonna take a down dog at this point. Bring the hands under the shoulders, knees underneath your hips. Squeeze the abdominals in, get the head away from your shoulders. Tuck the toes and you're gonna press your heels down towards the ground. Drive the heels nice and low, send the sit bones up towards the sky. Find a V shape with your body. Hold there while you really try to drive the heels down. Stretching all the way into your calves. Also great for your Achilles tendon. You're gonna bring your hands all the way in towards your feet. Take a little soften and bend through the knees. Drop the hips towards the floor. Slowly and sequentially unravel, unroll through the spine. Facing all the way round towards me. Give yourself a little shoulder roll round. Just a little shoulder roll round. You're gonna reach your hands out to the side. You're gonna inhale, sweep. Exhale, reach. Inhale, sweep. Exhale, reach. Bring those hands all the way down through a prayer position. Feet under the hips. Raise the heels away from the ground. And then lower the heels down. You're gonna close your eyes at this point. Take a soften, a bend through the knees. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. And then give everything a little shake off and well done in your bar on Pilates inspired class with me. Don't forget, if you want an ad free workout and a 60 minute full body workout, if you love that burn, join me this weekend on www.taylortoned.com. The discount link is down below to get that class for $5.99 and I will see you this weekend. Let me know what you thought of my brand new crazy yoga outfit. Give you a little turn one more time. Hit subscribe, see you again next time. Bye.